Sooner Scoop HD. He talked to you yesterday and said you were going to be in the starting lineup, you know. When he told that to you, just what was going through, going through, going through your head and you know, what were you thinking coming in tonight? Uh, I was just excited. First start, so, you know, pretty cool. But uh, really, I was just trying to have fun, um, trying to win, whatever it really took, honestly. But I wasn't really uh, concerned about how I would perform. I was just trying to have fun for real. We'll go to Justin next. Sam, you really continue to provide a really good spark off the bench for this team. Just how much have you embraced your role and just, I guess, what's led to the way you've been playing as of late? Uh, I mean, yeah, coming in, I knew what my role was, is just come in and provide hustle plays and offensive rebounds, anything I can do to get the team extra possession. So that's just my focus going in the game every night and just giving it my best effort. Go to Jesse. Sam, Tainer has talked a lot about how he's, you've given him a lot of confidence with the way you've played that he knows you're going to come in and, and, and bring a spark. Just can you talk about playing, you know, kind of alongside him mm -hmm. at the five and what you guys yeah. have brought together? I mean, obviously the energy starts with him coming into the game. He's I'm obviously crazy energetic, so I feed off that just like he feeds off me. Like the way he comes in, starts the game, going crazy, like that makes me feel good going in, knowing I'm just gonna pick up right where he left off. So I feel like me and him were a pretty good duo. Go Bob. Hello, we're gonna do that with the guards now. How do you play off of Grant and Dijon and the chemistry you guys have built? Uh, yeah, I mean the past few games with the three three point guards in, I feel like uh, we flow together pretty good. It uh, gives the offense more looks more guys who could go downhill and create for others. So it's definitely fun playing with Grant in the start and now with Bijan too, all three of us. So definitely. Eli, close for you. It wasn't a surprise that you were going to make the start tonight, but what's swimming around in your stomach at tip there? Is it any different than other nights? And then 13 seconds later, you knock down a three. Does that help settle in? <clears throat> definitely. Yeah. Uh, nah, yeah. I mean, it was a little jitters coming in for sure. But uh, yeah, when he backed up, I mean, it was kind of like, it's giving it to me, so that's kind of it's kind of cool for sure. Right. Both of you guys had good first halves offensively, not necessarily the whole team. What kind of changed for everybody in the second half for to heat up? Oh, uh, I mean, I feel like it started on the defensive end. I mean, the first half we weren't as locked in as we needed to be, and we started getting stops and getting in transition, running, just getting easy shots like that. So I feel like that's really what started it for us. Yeah, definitely, definitely on the defensive end for sure. Creating offense through our defense was. Definitely what happened in the second half. We'll go back to Justin. Hey, Lewis, uh Porter's talked a lot about Bijan and just the way that he's embraced his role. Just, I'm wondering what's your relationship with Bijan. Obviously, he was in your shoes last season, being a freshman then. So, just how would you describe your relationship? Uh, off the court? Sure, off or on. Uh, I mean, that's that's my guy. We're uh, even though we're in the same position, it's it's nothing bumping heads. That's that's still my guy, and uh, I love playing with him on the court. We create for each other, so. And off the court, he's a funny person, so I mean, I definitely like being around him for sure. Any additional questions? Sooner Scoop HD.